Alright, let's put it this way. MSVC fee and SVL at small C's like the secret C of your computer programs. It's that special ingredient they need to work their magic. But sometimes, that sauce goes missing and your programs start acting like they've lost their flavor. Why does it vanish? Well, it's like misplacing your keys. It could be because of a messy installation, a pesky update messing things up, or even your overprotective antivirus mistakenly tossing it out, thinking it's a troublemaker. But fear not. You can bring back the flavor by reinstalling the Microsoft Visual 2010 redistributable package. It's like restocking your secret sauce supply and making sure your programs can cook up their digital delights without any missing ingredients. Open File Explorer next. We'll give a gentle right click on this PC, the place where all our digital treasures reside, and pick properties from the menu that pops up. Inside the properties window, we're on a quest to find something called system type. It's like peeking inside to see if our computer is a sleek, powerful 64-bit machine or a more humble 32-bit setup. But hey, no matter what we discover, whether we're living large with 64 bits or keeping it humble with 32, just remember, it's not about the size of your digital real estate. It's about what you do with it that counts. follow the on-screen instructions provided by the installer. This typically involves accepting the license agreement, choosing the installation location which is usually preset, and clicking the install or next button. Or you can try this method as you can see it's still missing and what you'll need to do is you'll need to download the DLL then as you can see I have already downloaded it I'll click on open then go to the tool that requires the DLL file to run right click open file location and then you need to drag and drop the dll file to the file location of the exe that was misbehaving The setup is not opening, the setup is not running and so here are the steps that you are going to take and take things back to normal. Open file location on the exe that was misbehaving. Go ahead and copy the setup folder from the one he downloaded okay this error can occur on many applications so it's kind of different applications and uninstalling and installing again will solve this issue when I try to open, it opens without any issue, there's no startup issue or any other issue. So please subscribe if you found this method helpful.